hey welcome back everybody after a very long time in today's video i'm going to give you the overview of the orchid admin panel i have created this video long ago um since then i i am using this admin panel for one of my client for a production ready app this is already uh, live and this admin panel is managing the all the functionalities related to the coffee shop owner so the coffee shop owner can uh, toggle stop taking orders and they can toggle start taking order basically switch on and off of that they can uh, manage their products with all different size they can see their orders they can uh, see the items that has been ordered and they can confirm order from here while confirming they can uh, input some how many minutes it will be ready things like that and there are deals and advertisement that they can do they have other product options uh, so basically in coffee shop there are multiple options like tea options uh, sugar quantity so all those things can be managed from here this is for a particular vendor if you sign out and log in as admin you will see a lot of options as well uh, let me go to here you go so here you can see other options that uh, there are more options that are accessible to admin they can just uh, see all users they can impersonate using some user so all these functionality out of the box we can manage roles uh, for vendors we have no uh, swap info so these are the all the products basically all the service are same uh, there are additional service so these options I have created using uh, orchid crud uh, this is the first party package that they offer uh, which makes the crowd operations quite easy here you go you can see crowd here so today i will explain how to use this and there are other things that uh, you can do to customize uh, laravel orchid there are not uh, many videos uh, you using crud so it is hard for me to uh, work with it uh, so i want to help you guys with uh, the information that i find out while using the application while using this tool okay so uh, let me show you uh, the crowd option first uh, it is quite simple uh, like any other uh, application you can just uh, install it as a package and then if you want to create crud for let's say uh, this categories okay so this has been generated using this package then you can just do this command with showing that uh, categories and here is you can link up which model uh, this resource basically they are uh, this is kind of uh, laravel nova replacement and once this is done everything has been done you don't need to register this resource if it is inside this directly directory all resources inside that are registered so if you want to use filterable just attach these uh, these two to the model and you are ready to uh, create an ready to create a crud related operation so once you define that you'll get uh, this screen with edit and uh, right now view doesn't work you need to create extra screen for that let's go to the category um, that we have just created so this is uh, this one is the product category Yeah, so this is the product category here uh, I am just defining two fields name slug these two are uh, this one is required 
as you can see we can see this name I think I have um, yeah so these are the fields that will be displayed on the form file creating and editing so fields related setting related to that and the label is uh, this one yeah, in sidebar this label will be displayed if you change any uh, label this will get reflected there all right and other settings are the columns columns are related to uh, the items that we, you'll display on the index page and yeah so this is the display in navigation what I'm doing here is I'm checking if the user is admin then I'm showing this otherwise returning false so vendors are also using same admin panel uh, in that case I want only want to enable this option for the admin and disable for other and also uh, you can specify here the permissions so doing this is not enough someone might access that URL from the that from the URL uh, by manually typing it on the address bar so if you attach this permission so this permission is by default um, while you install orkit this permission is already registered and you can see that on orkit service provider i think it is platform provider here you go so you have to manually register uh, these before but while you use the laravel crud sorry orchid crud you don't need to do this menu make so here we have registered permission you can register any permission here and then use those permissions to restrict access to different part of the system and rules are managed by here there you go here you can see all the permissions that you have created like here i have created make order so i can allow this user or this role to have this permission so permission uh, you need to register here and then use the admin panel to uh, target those permission or assign those permissions to particular roles okay after you created uh, these fields you will see pretty much this kind of screen as displayed here but in some cases you want to restrict uh, the items uh, let's say in this case vendor product options for the admin I want to display all the products uh, product options from all the vendors but when vendor logs in I want to only display the options that are related to certain vendor so if this vendor copy saw vendor logs in then I only want to display these three items so how do I do that so if you are using uh, laravel crud then you need to use one trick but in other case if you are just normally following normally doing using uh, the previous tutorial I have uh, posted it here uh, you have uh, control over that control over the uh, screens uh, let me show you what I'm trying to say so normal way to create product card which is uh, this yeah product management so I haven't used orchid crud package for this so using that you have to create a product edit screen for forms and for tables you have to create this list screen this screen so here in query options I have I'm checking if admin then I'm uh, performing different query otherwise different query but when you use orchid crud package you don't have this query options uh, this is um, this bothered me for some time while I first used this so there is one walk around one trick that you can uh, go through if you see here there is no query option that you can alter for the vendor and admin separately 
so to uh, solve that there is a filters so if you see here filters uh, if uh, the user is admin I am only sorting the product by option type ID in descending order but if it is vendor I am doing the sorting as well as the vendor query filter if you go inside this filter this is just uh, filtering the results for that particular vendor only the logged in vendor all right and there the filter means this filter we are just using this trick uh, to filter the vendor so this is where i have made change for admin it displays all pages let me sign out and log in as other login as vendor then if I go to the vendor product options you can see here filters but uh, what I have done here is yeah made it hidden all right yeah so it is uh, now hidden so this is the trick that I used you can use to quickly prototype this app and later on you can just uh, target this and hide it from CSS so these are few uh, tips that you need to uh, you don't get on the documentation and if you ever need to change anything on the dashboard or anything in this admin panel you want to say put the custom JavaScript that you can do in the file I have created dashboard.js inside resources.js here and here I am just setting up uh, all the toast notification and I am adding the PWA and I am just uh, installing the Laravel echo notification in front end I'm fetching user so all operation I'm doing here so after that you need to yeah you need to compile it using webpack or laravel mix and yeah like here after you compile this you need to register this javascript over here in platform provider this is by default and here you have to register a script and this is the asset path inside asset js dashboard because the compiled asset will go inside the public and then we are targeting that public js all right yeah so that's it um, that will register javascript and everything else uh, can be done so i hope uh, this information help you uh, to start using the orchid admin uh, please let me know if you have any questions regarding this uh, i will be happy to help so you might have get idea about whether to use this for your application or not all right thank you have a good day bye